Hello. We'll have to ignore the steering wheel. I'm in the car. Evident. Welcome to another... That was a bit crazy. Welcome to another allotment vlog. It's cold. <laughs> Hence why I'm doing this in the car. Because I feel like... I forgot a coat, number one, so I've just got a fleece. And number two, it's windy. So I don't know if, if I'll be able to do a nice wordy intro while it's so windy. And number two, I don't want to be stood doing nothing while I'm doing the intro. So I'm doing it in the car. Hello, welcome. If you are new, do consider subscribing along the, somewhere on the somewhere. Yep. Um, and yeah, so I'm at the allotment. <laughs> Brilliant intro. I'm a, I need a wee, so my brain's a bit scrambled. Um, I'm at the allotment. It's windy. It's probably not the best day to do what I want to do today, actually, in hindsight. But what I want to do is sort out the back bit because I, had a, I actually had a dream about it last night. I'm panicking about it, so I had a dream about it, about the back of the plot because it's upsetting me. The front of it looks so nice. After last time's vlog, which I'll link here, the front of the plot looks so great now that most of the beds are in, the wood chips down, it looks tip top, but I'm just, I can't keep ignoring the back. And I know that it'll come to next year and we'll be like, we'll do it next year, we'll do it next year, but then next year I want to plant stuff. So, you know, so that's the plan today. I have been no dog today because I had to go to the shops and I didn't want to leave him in the car while I was in the shops. So, um, I feel like something just hit my car panicking i don't like the wet being at an allotment plot when it's windy is a bit scary by the way um so yeah no ted because i had to go to the shops but i did go to b and q and i got some more weed membrane like the long thin ones for the paths and some pegs to stick it in um so i'm gonna i think mark out finally where i want the new beds to be because that needs doing I'll insert, I actually, people have been asking, or I've seen on forums, like, what's the best allotment planning tool? Do you know what I did in? The Sims. Sims 4. It's free, by the way. And, um, yeah, it's a game. If you don't know, The Sims 4 is a game where you can build houses and live little people's lives. Um, but I built my allotment in it because I'm sad. <laughs> anyway, I'll put a picture on screen now. Um, but it was great to plan out. Obviously, it's not accurate to size but it was really fun to plan out like what I wanted to do with the rest of the plot so now I think we've got a plan I'm going to do very similar beds towards the back I need to mark out the size of the greenhouse um, so I can avoid that and then we're going to get some paving slabs and put that down and then have obviously the fruit bushes at the back and then have just have the same wooden beds um, throughout but yes that is the current plan um, as I said I need a wee so have to speed this up and also that big pile of wood chip is still there so if i do it's right there that's why i'm pointing so if i do uh get some of this weed membrane down and plot out the plat paths i can use the free wood chip so when i win a chicken dinner anyway i will wrap up the, this bit because i'm talking quite a lot and also the battery on the camera i forgot to charge it so we've not got that much battery left sorry um, and yeah, I will get on. As I say, I don't think I'll do much talking because as I say, it's dead windy. So I don't want you to just hear wind sounds. So yes, I'll get on with it. Get some paths made, get some beds done. I'm excited. I need to make, get my body moving to stay, oh, wobbly camera, to stay nice and warm. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll see you on the plot. There's been a small disaster. <laughs> Before I can get on with the back bit, I think I need to... Uh, sort out a few bits that have gone wrong as I've come down to the plot. First of all, <laughs> um, there's a bath in the bed. That's not meant to be there, is it? So, yeah. <laughs> um, that bath was there with the other bath, but I assume the wind has uh, carried it over, so I'm going to sort that out. And also, I can see, which is upsetting me a little bit, there's some feathers. Oh god. There's a big hole been dug and lots of feathers, which makes me think there's been a fox around. So I think maybe it's a fox and not a cat that's been digging. Um, so yeah, let's sort out the immediate problem. <laughs> let's fix that. So, what I'm going to do 
is exactly the same as I've done with the other beds is mark them out with some string some wood and some string um, sorry I'm just getting a bucket to prop you up onto because I can't figure out the tripod <laughs> so I'm just going to got I've got some sticks and some string and I'm just going to mark out on the ground um, where I want my path and where I want my bed um, and then that means that we can put the paths down and prep the beds without having any wood for the beds because I don't know how much wood we've got left but it's certainly not enough to do like four four five six six beds four or six beds so you know so all I've done is I've pulled up a load of this tarp not all of it just enough to get to this side and I'm going to mark out at least one bed can you see me don't know the sun's in my eyes let's hope let's hope you can Hopefully you can see where this bed is. This is a bit hard. Oh, it's wonky, isn't it? That's really wonky. Bear with me. Bear with me. Just sort of fix that a little bit. No, it's still wonky. Hang on. So I'm not very good. I think you meant to really get your measuring sticks out, but I don't want to. So, so I've got a square bed, much the same as those over there. And then I know that down the side I can put membrane, down here I can put membrane, the path, I'll figure that out in a minute. And then I think we want a pond there but I think I might mark it out anyway just so we know where it's going to be and then I can put the paths around it. Yeah so I'll repeat, I'll repeat that again over there and then I'll start putting the weed membrane down around the outside. definitely warm enough now. Now I've been putting some hard graft in. Just thought I'd do a little status update. I've sort of decided to bite off more. <laughs> uh, it's a Friday so I'm off, I'm off work today. I've got, as, as I said last time, I just booked a load of Fridays off. Um, and I've not got to be anywhere until about, well I'm going to a wedding <laughs> later so I need to get myself ready. But I've got until about five o'clock until I need to start thinking about going home. Well, I've got until it goes dark, which is about four, half four. Um, and it's 20 past two. So I've got time today. And I feel like while I've got time, I should be here. So I'll stop jibbering. I'll turn you around and I'll show you what's happening. I was, oh, the battery's gonna die. I'll talk really quickly. Um, so I was just gonna do these two beds and do the paths and then maybe put cardboard on the beds to get rid of some of that grass weed. But then I thought, oh, I'll just do the middle beds as well while I'm there. And then I thought, do you know what? I may as well just do this whole section because I've got the weed membrane to put down and it's just sort of easier in a way to do it all at once because you're just doing one job at a time then. So I've moved all this stuff out of the way. I do need to sort out the rhubarb slightly and also I'm now just realising that maybe I've made things a bit wonky but we'll figure it out. But yeah so I've moved stuff about slightly and I'm going to mark out the beds as you can see over here I've already started putting some weed membrane down and I'm going to do the same over here um, and then get as much of that free wood chip as possible and start covering the paths that's oh I'm so out of breath because I've been moving all those pallets and stuff but yeah that's the current plan and I think that will make me feel so much better because once everything's organized you can just keep on top of it it's this sort of like hard graft of doing it which is the hard part. But now I think if I get this patch done and put all the weed membranes down, I'll feel so much better. So, just doing another little progress update. I'm on my phone now because the camera's <laughs> died. Wonderful professional setup there. 
um, you can see, let me move back a little bit, you can see sort of what I've done. <laughs> um, I've put some more weed membrane down here, filled in some of the paths. Um, I'm going to go and get as much wood chip as I can right now and try and fill in all these paths that are membraned because um, that will not only help stop weeds coming up, it will also make sure the membrane doesn't fly away in the wind. Oh my god, I'm so out of breath. <sighs> and then I've still got some time. So what I really want to do is put cardboard over these beds um, to try and stop some of this grass growing. I don't know whether I'll be able to do it or whether I'll have to put one of like the tarps we use to cover and de weed. I'm not sure. I don't want all the cardboard to blow away. Maybe I could put a pallet on top. We'll see. But I definitely want to get rid of that grass because that will be an easy job to do over winter. It'll do itself rather than carrying on growing and going, growing all crazy. Um, the other beds that have been covered are sort of okay. I think I'd just have to get the hoe out and just hoe it a bit um, and make it a bit more even. But I've got a problem with the rhubarb, right? Yeah, so this rhubarb, um, it's already established. It was absolutely humongous when we got the plot. And I love rhubarb and I've loved rhubarb crumbles and it's a nice one to give away to people. However, it's in such an awkward spot. I don't really know what to do with it. I've made this bed a little bit wonky. Like you can see, it doesn't line up with that square bed there just to include it. But I might look and Google to see if you can move rhubarb. I'm sure you can, um, cause I know you can split it and give it to people. Um, but I kind of don't want it there. I don't mind it being in a bed, but I want it to be, I want the beds to be sort of the same size and shape. If you can't, or if it's too much trouble, it can stay. It's not, you know, it's not the end of the world, but ideally I would like to move it, but that's where it is for now. So anyway, I'm gonna get as much wood chip as I humanly can and fill in all these paths. <laughs> so I think that's all the wood chip in I can manage. We don't have a wheelbarrow so I've just been putting it in that muck tub and carrying it. It's not far away but it's quite hard work. I've done about six trips. So I think, I mean I'm in fear that the wood chip pile will disappear and then we won't have any more free wood chips so that's why I'm sort of panicking to do it but there seems to be quite a lot left and the last time I came was like over a week ago so I don't think it's going down that quickly and we do also have some spare like landscape barking bags in the shed. So, can you see? Most of the paths are done. What I'm gonna do now is I need to tidy up all these tarps, mainly so they don't blow away um, because that's health and safety hazard. So I'm gonna tidy up all these tarps and then see what the light's like. As you can see, it's getting quite dark quite quickly. So. I need to tidy up before it gets dark. You're not allowed to be here after dark. If you didn't know, you're not allowed to be at the allotment after dark for a safety thing. I don't know if all the allotments are the same, but that's the rule at ours. So tidy up and then see what time I've got left. So I think that's me today. I think I'm done. As you can see, I've tidied up all the tarps at the back and secured those down with like bricks and tent pegs and other such like. Um, but yeah, it looks really good. I'm really pleased with how you can see it in full shot there with how the plot's looking. Um, we need to get some more wood or we'll carry on using up the wood we've got to finish off these wooden beds up there. Um, but yeah, I'm exhausted and I can see the moon, which means it's going to get real dark real soon. So I'm going to go home. But that was a good, good day's work. Good good bit of graft. Let me just hide in the shed from the wind. It's a bit windy. I thought I'd just quickly interject before past me but future me ends the video um, because I did actually pick some produce after I ended the video. Um, I've got a whole bag. So I ended up picking some of the Mizuna and Mabuna which is like a salad this sort of spiky salad leaf which grows fantastically in winter. If you've seen last time's vlog you'll have seen that absolutely mental. Um, I picked some rocket as well for the first time, so we'll try that. And then the main thing I picked was beetroot. <laughs> I picked quite a lot of the beetroot because um, last, with the summer's beetroot, I pickled it 
and we've pretty much just run out. So I thought, while it's ready, um, we planted this beetroot in August, so it's very small, <laughs> you can see, but um, I'll chop it up, I'll pickle it, it'll be absolutely fine. Um, and yeah, that's, I just thought I'd add that in, that you can still be picking full bags of <laughs> produce even in November. But yeah, I'll flick back to past me but future me to end the video now. So, yes, yeah, so I'll leave it there. Oh my God, the shed. It's a mess. <laughs> That's another job for another day. Um, yeah, good job today. I'm feeling really like accomplished and happy and that's been bothering me for so long but I'm just so chuffed that at least half of the back is now sort of semi-sorted. So we're three quarters of the way through sorting out the plot. <laughs> We've got a fully usable half and then a, an in-progress quarter. But to be fair, most of the back is going to be a compost bin, a greenhouse and like a fruit bush area. So in terms of beds, there's actually not that much going on. So we're okay, we're all good. I'm going to go home. I've not eaten and it's like four o'clock now, so I'm starving. I'm going to go home and have some food. So yes, if you have liked the video, give it a like at the bottom. And if you're a newbie and you're not yet subscribed, click subscribe and then you'll, and if you click the little bell, you'll get a notification when we upload. Um, usually allotment vlogs are usually on a Sunday morning, <laughs> depending if I can edit it, but that's when they're supposed to go up. If not, I'll put a little like community post out saying when it's going to be up. And uh, the normal weekly weekend vlogs go out on a Tuesday again, usually <laughs> when I edit them but that's the schedule and if it changes from the schedule i'll put a little youtube post out but yep that's when we upload if you want to carry along with our journey i also have vlogged from the beginning of getting our allotment so there's a playlist that i'll link in one of the corners as well if you want to start from the beginning and other than that i will see you in the next allotment vlog maybe sam will make an appearance maybe ted will make an appearance and yeah we will see you next time bye <laughs>